Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Serendipity by Melanie. Just have a couple more unboxings from the second shelf of my first storage unit, and I'm just going to carry on sitting here on the floor. <clears throat> Yesterday when I did my live, Brown Sugar and Bella were left kind of to themselves for a few hours, so they're just kind of needy today. Getting brown Sugar's over my shoulder, snoring away. Bella's out on the front step. I just have the wood stove going to keep the temperature okay, because there's a storm coming in. Uh, the door is wide open so she can come and go as she pleases. I'll carry on. I just have a couple more to do and I'll finish off this one shelf. So I showed you a few uh, in another unboxing. I have these balsa wood boxes that I redo. There's a group of four in this um, tote here. And I just mix media. Um, what is the metal one? that they use the words for slipping my mind. So I have a set of planters here. There's three of them with the tray. There's a little, it's flea bite. Like you can feel it, but you can't see it. So all three of these are the same. And I have the tray here made in China. And then the tray just has the divots for the planters. So I'm just stacking those on top of each other. So I didn't unwrap this one too much, just a little bit. And um, because I have this decanter, and I love it. Bohemian or what? I just wish that I had the stopper, but I don't. Isn't that beautiful? Like just, it must be, I don't know, nine, ten inches. But it's beautiful. The green, blue, aqua. Oh, I love it. But I do have the glasses that go with it. And I do have it listed on my Etsy page. Isn't that beautiful? So I have multiple glasses in here and I'm not going to be unpacking at all um, the decanter in one glass but this I don't know there's just something this color is perfect so there is that box and what did I do oh here's the other one okay I'm losing it a little bit losing it so I have a few more of these train baby planters and just the little um, rabbit on this side with the bow. And on this side is a bear. Oh my goodness, somebody's barbecuing next door. And it's just such a good smell. So inside's a little dusty. But these just came from like somebody on Etsy that I bought from. This one is sweet. Just little. A rocking horse. The little teddy bear on this side is the rattle and it says Napcoware imported Japan. <laughs> I'm just going to move this one piece out of my way and then some of these I haven't even unpackaged. I don't know who I bought them from. Hopefully I can figure that out. But here's a little lamb just a little planter and it's, it has a bell T7974 it looks like an Arby's bell I don't know if you could huh. and dusty Oof. hence why I started using totes I'm just um, putting stuff aside that is all wrapped up because like I say I bought it and I haven't even unpackaged it the totes a bit high for me. It says uh, Inarco Japan. Another little train. The yellow on that side. The pink and blue on this side. And here's the bottom. And dusty on the inside. So I'll spare you on that. I can't read that. But look at her. 
Isn't she sweet? I love the colors. Just so cute. And I'm just going to pull this one. Look at it. Oh. I love these. As you can tell, this says Japan 5676. But that's just beautiful. And I'm just grabbing things out. This one is um, my family. So this one is not for sale. It is um, pretty important to, to me. It's just special. And it's McCoy. And some of you know I love McCoy, but I'd like it to say McCoy. This does have dust on it. I put it away not very long ago. But this has been in my family longer than I've been alive. The cold paint has washed off quite a bit. I remember washing this as a youngster. But I'll show you the bottom, how the crazing has discolored. But seriously, this was used. Like, growing up, we used this as a cookie jar. We didn't have cookies very often. Uh, mostly at Christmas when I would do the baking. Like, I was just young and I did some baking for Christmas. But this cookie jar, it means a lot to me. Like, a lot. And so this won't be for sale, ever. It's got the crazing. It's not in that perfect condition. But it was many many moons ago and I believe with this raffia that I'm unwrapping I do believe this is from Misty thrifter junker vintage hunter she finds absolutely great stuff um, I do believe it's going to get a little noisy she did a tour of her shop and I just said to her, oh, will you sell me that? I sent her an email. Sure. So she boxed it up with some other things. So I'm, and I apologize that Misty have never unboxed it. But it's just been kind of busy in my world. And winter, I don't, I kind of go in hibernation. So when these parcels showed up, I thought, well, I'll just wait and do an unboxing but I never got to that because I hadn't started my channel yet and <clears throat> so I am guessing that this is from Misty Ugh. she's very good at wrapping she's the um, gift toppers you know the cards and little thank yous in her business card so this is a cookie jar and there's two pieces to it and it is from misty and she was kind enough to let me just email her it's just easy like that's why i say send me an email and that's fine so on the bottom it says c6687 and this is a bit rough here but I'll find the lid to it as I carry on unboxing. I don't know where to put all the wrapping. If I'm wrong on who I bought it from, shame on me. This is just Bunnykin's kind of, not, the name isn't on there, but the rabbit reading the story to the little one in bed. No marking on the bottom, just a 9-5 etched in the clay. So I'll put that over here. I would imagine there's two of these, so, or maybe they are singles. Salt and pepper shaker in the milk jug, just the little girl, flowers. That's cute. 
I will wrap these up nicer when I put them away. Oh, I was wondering what I did with these. I had bought these as a gift. I haven't given all the things that I bought for gifts. So, so there are two. And it's a salt and pepper shaker in the moccasins. So I won't unwrap both of them. But here is, I think this is for the dog to lift its leg on, a salt and pepper shaker. And then there's a salt shaker here in the shape of um, a barrel. And it's wooden. So I'm not quite sure about the single shakers, but this is the lid to the carnival. Um, you can see the lid here to the cookie jar. It's beautiful. So I'm going to stop there and I'm going to package everything back up and put it away. Just um, being able to show my, my McCoy rocking horse cookie jar was pretty special to me it um, is very sentimental but I'm sure you guys have something at home that means the world to you it's just mom said you better not sell that and I'm like it's not being sold mom but I will show it so uh, mom loves it as well so you take care thanks for spending time with me and I'll see you on the next video bye bye now